brother this is the standard cbr test in which uh, the uh, pressure is given for the different value of penetration so for 2.5 mm the pressure is for 2.5 mm penetration the pressure is 6.9 megapascal similarly for 5 mm this is this is 10.4 1.6 is it is 13.1 megapascal and for 10.2 and 12.2 or 15.9 7.9 megapascal these values are used to find out the cbr ratio here it is written that uh, the pressure at each 0.1 inch penetration up to 0.5 inch is recorded and it it ratio to the bearing value of the standard rod the standard crushed rock is termed as cbr so you have already values in the excel sheet and these are the standard values for the standard crushed rock so we will find the ratio between this pressure and the pressure you find out in your uh, uh, task so look at uh, these values the standard high quality crushed stone the load here i write it 13.35 for 2.5 mm penetration where the load taken by your self by your soil the native soil for 2.5 mm penetration is 2.3 kilo newton and here the standard load is for 2.5 is 13.3 5 how i find this value here it is the load in kilo newton but here in this uh, test we have values in mega pascal so converting the uh, these values to load then we will find out the ratio so how we will calculate uh, the load from this we have already this pressure in mega pascal so multiplying this with area we will find out the load so the area of the standard um, mold is 1935 where it is written in mm square so using this value uh, for area and this is the pressure we can calculate the load just look here i have write the formula the 6.9 is the pressure in mega pascal 6.9 this is the 6.9 and multiplying it with 10 power 3 will convert this mega pascal into kilo pascal and then the area is uh, 1935 in mm square again by converting it to square meter then it will become 10 power uh, multiplying it with 10 power minus 6 then this area will be in square meter so this is the area and this is the uh, pressure in kilo pascal multiplying these two values we will get uh, 13.3515 kilo newton so these Mm, this unit this unit and the unit here are now consistent we can uh, calculate the cbr ratio from these two values of the load so similarly the, this 20 is again find out from the pressure that is in mega pascal here for the standard crush stone this is 10.4 so again i write here 10.4 multiply by 10 power 3 converting to kilo pascal and multiplying with area we get 20 kilo newton the and the other values these 25 13 34 are for 13.1 15.9 and 17.9 so these are the standard values 13.1 15.9 7.9 just converting these values to load so we find out these uh, loads now it's uh, time to find out the cbr ratio so for the uh, load values in kilo newton so we find out the cbr ratio for 2.5 mm penetration and for 5 mm penetration so let me uh, check it So brother these uh, uh, for cbr value 
we just want to find we have to find the ratio between the uh, load taken by the native soil that is uh, 2.3 kilo newton for a penetration of 2.5 mm so this value 2.3 divided by um, this load 13.35 multiplied by 100 we will get the cbr value here so this the one cbr value is this the another is uh, cbr value is for 5 mm this this is the 5 mm penetration so for 5 mm penetration this value comes out from the native soil this is 3.9 for 5 mm this load divided by um, 6.1 sorry uh, 30 point 7.6 load for the standard high quality crushed stone so for 5 mm this is the 20 20.14 for 5 mm 20.14 load and for uh, native soil it is uh, mm, 3.9 so 3.9 divided by 20.14 multiply by 100 we get 19.8 so we will take uh, that value of CBR which is high uh, so if we see for 2.5 mm penetration the value is 17.2 and for 5 mm penetration value is 19.37 so we will consider CBR value 19.37 similarly if we uh, want to find the CBR for 1% PE so again the same formula will be used but here the load taken for 1% PE for the penetration of 2.5 mm is 2.7 so this 2.7 divided by the 13.35 for 2.5 mm penetration this value will constant for all three of, uh, for all except uh, um, this value will same for all this value will same for all and only the value which will change will be the load taken by 1% PE, 2%, 3% and 4% so here for 1% for 2.5 mm penetration the value is 2.7 so this 2.7 divided by 13.55 we will get for 1% CBR is equal to 20 and again for 5 mm we get the value of 24.34 so we will consider that value of CBR which is high. So here is 24.34 greater than 22, 20.22. So we will use this value to find out the resilient modulus of soil. Similarly, we will find out the CBR value for 2% PA. These these are the values, and for 3% PE, it's 26 and 28, and for 4% 29 and 30. So the red. Uh, color CBR value is actually high so we will consider this to find out the uh, CB uh, to find out the resilient model uh, why we will use the greater one here it is already neutral mm. CBR decreases as the penetration increases so the ratio at the 0 0.1 inch or 2.5 mm penetration is used as CBR in some cases the ratio at 0 0.2 inch that is 5 mm will be greater than that at 0 0.1 inch if this occurs the ratio at 0 0.2 inch that is 5 mm should be used so that's why we use the value the ratio of cbr used for 5 mm when the value of 5 mm is greater so we find the cbr values natural soil cbr values 1% cbr values 2% cbr values 3% cbr values and for 4% PE the CBR values are these two so by taking the greater one this is 19.37 we calculate this value resilient modulus resilient modulus is equal to 1500 multiplied by uh, CBR so CBR value is 19.37 so multiplying this with 1500 and divided by 145 the why I divide it by 145 to convert the the value from psi to megapascal because 1500 multiplied by cbr value will give us the resilient modulus in psi so 
so to convert this psi into mega pascal we will divide it on 145 in order to get the value of the general modulus in mega pascal and where i find this formula that is uh, 1500 multiplied by cbr is equal to resilient modulus look at uh, the book here this is the cbr and the resilient modulus relation mr is equal to 1500 multiplied by cbr so here uh, 1500 is the coefficient which may vary from 750 to 3000 with a factor of 2 available data indicate that equation 7.6 provide better result values of CBR less than about 20 so leave this uh, just look at this MR MR is the resilient modulus in PSI so it means that if you multiply CBR value with 1500 the value we obtained will be in psi so converting this value of psi to mega pascal we will divide uh, it by 145 so that's why i divide it here for by um, 145 so here i use the value of cbr 19.37 the q10 q10 cell so this is the mr value for native soil um, this is the value MR value for 1% CBR again I take this value to find the MR the same equation 1500 multiplied by CBR divided by 145 and similarly the MR values for 2% 3% and 4% values are this so we now calculate uh, two things uh, we have already calculated two things that is number one CBR and the second one is the MR value for all the percentages and native soil after that we will find out the thickness so the equivalent thickness so this is the actual uh, equivalent thickness if we use the native soil then according to the mark formula um, here he equivalent thickness will be equal to he1 plus he2 and he1 is equal to this value and he2 is equal to this so by summing these two values we will find out the equivalent thickness which is equal to this so here it is written he1 is this much and he2 is this much so i use this formula in the excel sheet to calculate the equivalent thickness of the subgrade layer so this let let uh, check value of the uh, equivalent thickness here 42.4 how it comes it is 0.9 here in this formula it is not written that uh, we have to multiply a constant value of 0.9 so look at uh, the value in the formula so here we will multiply 0.9 for asphalt uh, we have to multiply the uh, thickness with uh, 0.9 it's a constant value so multiplying 0.9 multiplied by the thickness which is uh, 10 inches for the asphalt uh, layer so this 10 inch using here h1 this is 10 inch into cube root of E1 divided by subgrade resilient uh, modulus. So E1 we have for the spot layer is 4000 mega Pascal. So 4000 divided by the MR value for the net soil is 200 mega Pascal. So 4000 divided by 200 here it is 400 divided by uh, 2. 100 4000 divided by 200 uh, power 1 over 3 because this is the cube root so we will uh, use 1 over 3 power so this is actually the equivalent height for the first layer and I, we have calculated here and the second one is uh, this again look at the second layer for granular base we have 20 centimeter height so we use value of h from here that is 20 centimeter h2 and then the cube root of uh, mm, the 
granular material divided by granular material stiffness that is uh, 200 divided by the resilient modulus that is uh, uh, in R9 cell 200 so taking the cube root of this value we um, find out the H2 that here that is E2 divided by E S so E2 is 200 and the MR that is e, e s value is actually the mr resilient bundles of subject which is equal to 200 so 200 divided by 200 uh, power 1 over 3 so using this formula we find out the thickness equivalent thickness for the net soil similarly the equivalent thickness for the uh, 1 percent Mm, polyethylene plastic using 1% polyethylene plastic the equivalent thickness required is equal to 13.3 again it is calculated similar to this value but here we just use the we use the value of MR 252 252 value instead of using 200 for the native soil the uh, other things are same that is the spark layer 10 inch 20 are the same similarly for 3 for 2 percent we calculate the equivalent thickness this much and for 3 percent and 4 percent are these are these values so these are the equivalent thickness if we see by increasing the plastic uh, content the plastic fiber the equivalent thickness is reduces that is look at uh, the this value 42 then 39 then 38 and then 37 and 36 so it is decreasing while we increase the plastic content for 4 percent we achieve 36.5 centimeter equivalent thickness and for native soil we have 42 so this is actually for the uh, plastic uh, plastic uh, length uh, fiber length having one centimeter when the plastic is polyethylene so poly uh, the second one is for the two centimeter and uh, this two centimeter for of uh, the polyethylene plastic two centimeter length of the fiber of a polyethylene plastic and these values are the uh, for the polypropylene having the fiber length of 1 cm and again this is the value for polypropylene having the fiber length of 2 cm instead of 1 cm. So here are the thicknesses um, of uh, these are the thicknesses of the road layer of the subgrade layer this one and this one. So I think uh, you can now understand Okay, thank you